So here we talk about induced homomorphisms. So given a function f from space x to space y, we have already seen how to construct maps chains in x to chains in y. Yeah, c n x to c n y. Now here we want to talk about chains in the cohomology groups. So let us write this down. Yeah, so there's a map f from space x to y and we have already seen that within homology we get these chain maps and within cohomology we construct from homology the homomorphisms so this is what we had seen before yeah chain maps x to chain maps in y now the very important distinction in cohomology is the contravariance nature so rather than from x to y we get cohomology or co-chain maps from y to x yeah so you know the co-chain maps are nothing but homomorphisms acting on the basis so this is very important so i write it down this is the contravariance yeah so instead of space x to y we are going from y to x the arrow has reversed yes f goes from x to y whereas the co-chain complexes which we get have maps from y to x so we have these uh, uh, commutativity yeah so this is the commutative diagram analogous to what we have in homology and this immediately induces homomorphisms again the homomorphism is contravariant now in the homology we had homomorphism from hnx to hny here we have homomorphism between the cohomology groups yeah so you started with cochain map between cochains and you ended up with the homomorphism between cohomology groups So now let us talk about the relative case. Yeah, so consider this good pair XA and YB. Yeah, so there is a map. A is a subset of X and B is a subset of Y and A gets mapped to B. So this will induce analogous to what we have done above a homomorphism again contravariant this pair yb to g to here yeah. this is exactly similar to homology but here we are talking about cohomology and the arrow is reversed it is again a group homomorphism then we should apply this relative case so notice that this also satisfies the naturality condition so we now apply this relative case to universal coefficient theorem So that will also give us a commutative diagram. Again for all this thing we are not doing much. We are just applying what we have already done in homology to cohomology. The only difference is that instead of number one homomorphism between homology groups we have homomorphism between cohomology groups and uh, the number two point is that there is contravariance. So instead of space from x to y, we always go from y to x. So yeah, we want to apply, so this naturality condition um, exactly the same as in homology. You should be able to go between different homology groups, the long exact sequence. Yeah, so if you do not know, you should stop here and check the naturality condition in homology and see the ladder diagram 
is nothing but natural transformation yeah in category theory so yeah that naturality condition induces this universal coefficient theorem so if you know naturality condition there is almost nothing to say here and if you do not know naturality condition you you should stop now and see homology naturality condition within hatcher so this is naturality condition is very important basically links two different homology groups entire long exact sequences are linked A naturality condition can be found on page 127 of Hatcher. Same as in homology, we have in cohomology, homotopy invariance would induce equivalent maps between cohomology groups. Yeah, so in F and G are homotopic, then they will induce the same group homomorphism yeah both f and g take space x a to y b then both of them will induce the same homomorphism yeah obviously this homomorphism is between the cohomology groups and again notice the contravariance Yes, we are going from cohomology group YB to cohomology XB. So it should be XA, not XB. Yeah. So accession. Yeah, so just correct it. HN YB to HN XA. So accession, uh, consider the following inclusion map. So this induces the isomorphism. Yes, yeah, so since it is an isomorphism, it wouldn't have mattered where I wrote XA and uh, cohomology of X minus Z, A minus Z, but keeping with the contravariant convention, this is the way we will write it. Yeah, again, this is precisely as it was in homology. And lastly, we should write about the, yeah, let me write this in red, contravariance. Yeah. So lastly, we should write about the Meyer Vitoris sequence. So X is the union of interior of A and B and we get the following cochain complex. So everything which I am writing here is available in Hatcher page 200. Yeah, I have just copied it from there. Yeah, the only advantage of listening to this is that you get a concise experience essentially yeah and then you can read Hatcher for more details so this is the following cochain complex again it is precisely the same as in homology
So we have now the long exact sequence. Again, since the arrows are reversed in the co-chain complexes compared to chain complexes, the index will increase rather than decrease. So we go from cohomology of XG to split. Now we have cohomology of A intersection B, comma G. Now we increase the index by 1. And we continue. 